Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys an easy way to install GOG games onto Linux. So let's get started. Now, if you guys are familiar with GOG.com, they actually have a lot of games either for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, a bunch of stuff that you could actually download. And they also have their own software called the Galaxy or GOG Galaxy. Now, someone by the name of Wouter created the software called Mini Galaxy for Linux. And it's actually super easy to install. And this does basically the same thing for GOG games. So I'm going to pop over to my desktop and show you guys his GitHub. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. But over here, he has all his source codes if you want to compile it yourself and all the contributors on who helped with the project. Now, the easiest way to install it, and I'm running on Ubuntu 20.04, uh, head over to the releases and you could actually download the dev file. So I'm going to download this right here, hit OK, and hop over to my terminal or you could just navigate over using your file manager. But I'm going to switch over to the downloads folder and do sudo apt install mini galaxy.deb. And that's all there is to it to get this installed. Now I'm going to run it for the first time. It should be somewhere in my menu. Where is it? This mini galaxy right here. You're going to be required to log in for the first time. And that is it. It's basically a very small software. Now, if you can't tell, this is all my Linux games that I have purchased. It installs natively on Linux. So if I was to say download Art of Rally, all I have to do is hit there and it'll do everything it needs to do to download and process everything and install it. That's it for that. All right, now that Art of Rally is done installing, all I have to do is hit play and that is it. I didn't have to go through the browser, download the file, figure out how to install it. It just sets everything up for me. Now, I'm not going to go through this. I'm going to close this out. By the way, if you guys are interested, that's actually a very good game on a rally, especially on a controller. So I would highly recommend checking it out. Now, here's the thing. If you want to check out Windows games, you can actually go over to the three dots over here, go to preferences and then show Windows games. Now, I'm going to get an error because I actually don't have wine installed. So if I hit save, it's going to say wine wasn't found. So to solve that problem, all I have to do is sudo apt install wine. I'm going to install the development branch. Hit yes. And now that everything's installed over here, I just have to head back to the mini galaxy, go back to preferences, show windows games, and it should all appear without error. Now it's a hit or miss with the windows wine because some games or some applications require special attributes just for the game to work. And since it's taking the generic wine that we just installed to run it, uh, again, your mileage may vary, but it's the same rule as applies. If I needed to play any game that's on this list that is also Windows, you're going to see a little wine icon on the top left. And it's the same deal. If I was to say click download, it will actually download and install that particular game and it's going to run under wine. And here we go. This is an actual installer because it's running a wine installer. And there we have it. I'm not even sure if it's gonna start. Error opening video, yep, I figured. Again, it's a hit or miss and you might have to set up some settings into your wine just to get certain things to work. But again, this mini Galaxy does allow for that and it's much easier than trying to download manually and install games. Most of the time that I run games on GOG, it's usually a Linux game anyway, so that's just my thing. Or I play really, really old games. To be honest, these games like Win Commander 1, 2, or 3 should be ran in DOS box and not Windows. So, so again, everything may vary for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick short video on installing Mini Galaxy and showing you guys that this is a possibility. And if you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And thanks for watching.